Hi everyone, guess what today is? Yep, Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, everybody. I thought we'd do a project today using some rocks. And I just happen to have a few rocks over here that I found on one of my walks. So let's see what we can do with those to make a happy Earth Day for everyone. Well, before we get started, what is Earth Day anyhow? Well, Earth Day is a day where we think about being kind to our planet. We only have one planet. We better be good to it. Well, what can you do to be good to our planet? One of the things you can do is recycle. When you have a bottle or a can or whatever that you're done with, put it in the recycling bin and then it'll be reused again for another bottle or can or paper. That's one of the things you can do. Another thing you can do is to repurpose stuff. What does that mean? Well, if you get something for like, for example, food is in a container, you can reuse that container for something else. I reuse this container that I had some food in and I put my markers in there. So now it's not a container for food anymore. It's a marker holder. So you can use things again in different ways. Another thing you can do is when you're brushing your teeth in the morning or at night, instead of leaving the water running when you're brushing your teeth, you can turn it off in between and that can serve water. That's another way to help our planet Earth. Well, what are we going to do now with all those rocks? I thought it'd be fun to, instead of painting on paper, we'll paint on some rocks. So what you'll need for this project is some rocks. I found this when I was on a walk. And it's a good idea to get rocks that are light in color because the paint goes on it better. And before you start painting, it's a good idea to give your rock a bath, which is what I did with all of my rocks. You get all the dirt off and the paint will hold on to it better. So you need rocks, you need some paint. I got this paint at a local drugstore and it wasn't expensive and there's lots of colors and it makes your project fun. Also, you need, of course, paint brushes, and you need some water, also repurposed. And most importantly, you need your imagination. So let's see where my imagination has taken us to. I think first I'm gonna start with making a world, because it is Earth Day, so. I'm going to paint up the world. Now I'm going to paint a heart. And I'm going to make it all different colors, not just red. Maybe a little red. And next, I think, I'll use purple. And I do love blue, so I'm going to put blue in the middle. It's nice and colorful. Um, next, I'm going to write love on this rock. Spread some love around. L O V and E. And I'm going to add a few hearts in there bright pink. There we go. Nice and cheery. Um, let's see. This one, I think I'm going to make a flower. Use some of that pink again. 
and you can, these are just suggestions. You can paint them whatever, whatever you want. Now I'm going to make a little ladybug. Um, I need some red. And it's kind of hard to see on the black rock. So I'm going to have to do lots of layers. And if you think this is hard to do, you can paint designs on the rocks. You don't have to paint what I'm painting. Now I thought I'd do a rainbow. Everyone loves rainbows. I'm wiping my brush off before I put it in the next color. That red, now I'm doing some orange. We'll come back to orange. You know. Yellow. Rainbows make everyone feel good. Yellow, green, blue. My favorite color. And you might have to paint over it more than one time. So the color's nice and, and bright and, and brilliant. And then, of course, the last color is purple. Now I thought I'd paint a little bunny because they're pretty cute. Making him kind of light pink. And I drew it on the rock first with pencil. I'm going to give him that really bright pink inside his ears. And I gave him a really pink, a bright pink nose too. And blue eyes. Why not? And he has a happy smile which is kind of like a W if you look at it. Now I'm going back to my earth. I did the water. Now I'm doing all the continents in green. Where the land is, is in green. And I'm going to put the spots on my ladybug. You have to wait till the paint dries to put paint on top of it. Otherwise, it gets all mushy and it's the colors run together and they don't always look nice. All right, now I think this ladybug needs a face. So I'm going to give him some eyes. And... Um, a big smile. He's happy it's Earth Day. And I'm just going to put little black dots in the middle of his eyes. He looks pretty cute. And I thought I'd add a heart to my Earth because we love our planet. Okay, there we go. I'm drawing around the planet. So you could see it a little bit better. I'm painting around it. And here are all my rocks. They're sitting there to dry. The bunny, love, there's the hearts. I went over it more than one time so the colors were nice and bright. Little ladybug, the earth. So here are all my rocks that I painted for Earth Day. And I went over them more than one time, so the color was really bright. And on this one, I painted on both sides. 
and I painted on both sides on the bunny too. So go outside, enjoy Earth Day, walk around, enjoy nature, find some rocks, and you can paint pictures on them too to make beautiful artwork that your whole neighborhood can enjoy. Place them around your neighborhood and your neighbors would love to see one of your rocks, your artwork. You can even leave one for your mailman by your mailbox. That will sure put a smile on his face. Well, that's it for now. Happy Earth Day, everyone. Adios.